This is Master Geo at uh, Five Points Festival with Amy Chu. Hello, Amy. Hello, how are you? Fine, thank you. So uh, how did you get into the, uh, the comic book business? Oh my God, that's like a huge long story, but by accident. I was just trying to help my friend Georgia uh, do her comic, and then it just kind of got sucked into the whole vortex of co the comics world, and um, started writing, and then people started liking my stories, and then I'm like, oh my God, I really have to do this. and. You know, it's just one thing after another. You get kind of a little obsessed, I guess, and that's what happened. So who were your influences? Um, you know, that's like a little weird question for me. Um, I, I don't really want to say, like, different people for different things, because I think there's certain people who are really great at certain things. Like, Gail Simone is, is fantastic with the dialogue, you know, some of the, the snark and wit, you know. So, like, I try to, like, pick from different people. Like Mark Wade is, is amazing with recaps. I mean, it's not that people aren't amazing with everything, but I look to certain people for certain things. So it's it's like a little here and there. And it also depends on the genre too. I mean, I like experimenting and I'm still learning. So I don't want to be like, oh, one person is like a huge... I, I would say Terry Moore is a huge influence because I think it's storytelling. I'm not an artist. I'm a writer. But, um, you know, he's, he can do both and I just think it's amazing. So I look at that. Uh, Mike Mignola was really, really nice to me from the very start, he, Like, and I'm like, love the Hellboy series, and I look to that for just simplicity of storytelling, um, you know, but it's, it's, it's a lot of people. So were you a Red Sonia fan? Um, I'm not, you know, it's interesting, I, I can't, it's a terrible thing to say, I didn't really read comics growing up, I mean, I want to say I did not not read comics, I'm sure I read I read Wonder Woman, Donald Duck, whatever, but you know, my parents didn't buy me comics, they didn't have money for comics, and um, I only really started reading comics in college, so this, the stuff that I've read and been exposed to is like all over the place, and um, so for Red Sonia, I'm catching up on it quite late, um, you know, I got Red Sonia because people love Poison Ivy, and I'm like, oh my god, Red Sonia has a legacy, so of course, this is the thing, I'm like reading up super quick on everything, and um, I was a, a big fan of Gail Simone's run, um, so it's kind of like, yeah, absolutely, I want to do it. Uh, what about Kiss? Kiss is also another thing. These are these are comics with like 40-year-old legacies, you know. And it's one of those things where I'm, you know, I'm a fairly new writer. If I can do Kiss, and and people like it, I feel like my job is done. You know, I don't, you know, what else? What else can I do? It's it's important for me. Uh, to sort of prove my writing chops, you know, so, um, and so far so good, people, uh, like I get a lot of KISS fans who come up and like, you know, we picked it up for the cover, but we really actually like the story. I'm like, okay, good, I'm glad you read it and you liked it, because that's, that's what I'm, I'm striving for. Did you ever meet the KISS guys? I am going to next month. For the first time, I think, hopefully, Gene Simmons is going to be at Wizard World Philly. And so I will be doing the, uh, you know, I will be there. And I understand that there's some, you know, Dynamite's trying to get us together to do something of some sort. So that's kind of exciting and um, slightly terrifying. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, Got a little jealous, actually. You should be. You should be. Because this is, like, like, on my bucket list, you know. My understanding is he really likes the series because I'm... Cool. I, it, you know, uh, in all honesty, I'm, I'm writing for, he's, he is, it's his franchise, right? Um, but he's a comics fan, so I'm writing for him. If he likes it, which apparently he does, um, and I understand he likes over-the-top stuff, so I'm like, this is, this is what I'm trying to do, and so I'm hoping, uh, you know, that uh, he's, he's happy with everything. Uh, so what titles are you currently working on or will be I'm working doing, on? I'm doing Kiss and Red Sonia. I also have a, a third series, a third monthly series coming out um, from Lion Forge end of this year. It's called Summit. It's a, it's a female astronaut who develops some superpowers um, and is part of the Catalyst Prime universe. And it's very, it's very exciting. They're letting me do a lot of really interesting stuff. And it's a very sort of emotional series. You know, there's like, you know, what you would imagine, there's a lot of action involved, but you know, she is an astronaut that comes back to Earth after she's essentially saved the world. And there's a lot of heavy baggage that comes with that. So, trying to do that. And um, I have different things here and there. You know, I just did the one shot for the X-Files um, that I'm very happy with. And, you know, I wrapped up Poison Ivy a while ago. Uh, oh, I forgot. What am I saying? I got a little bit of Marvel work coming up. Okay. Uh, I just started seeing the thumbnails for it. I'm very excited, um, and it's, a, it's such a short story, but it's for Secret Empire, and it's, uh, I think I'm allowed to say this, it's an Emma Frost story. 
Oh, so, cool. Okay. I think you may be hearing that first, but um, yeah, anyway. Okay. Well, uh, where could uh, fans learn more about your work? Oh, wow. Um, you know, you can just, I mean, I'm on Twitter a lot. Um, Amy Chu, A-M-Y-C-H-U. Um, Instagram, Amy underscore Chu. Uh, Facebook, I'm, I write comics. Um, and I have a website called IWriteComics.com because I know some people get confused. Do I write? Do I draw? I'm the writer. I create the scripts for the artists and, you know, um, yeah. So that's where they can find me. All right. Well, thank you, Amy, so much. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Okay. Pleasure.